Hey, what's up guys? It's Russo and Jordy with Backdoor Fantasy Sports, and we've got another prize picks video for you. Uh, we're going to be talking about the NBA slate on February 6th uh, for Taco Tuesday on prize picks. Um, we've got seven games, and um, we've got a couple fun matchups. Uh, in particular, I'm looking forward to the Bucks versus the Suns. We'll have a Grayson Allen's uh, first game against his old team. Um, and uh, also looking forward to uh, the Jazz and the Thunder game. Um, all of these, there's pieces to get into, but like, yeah, like Rockets, Pacers, there's a few that I, I'm uh, pretty excited to actually watch the matchups go back and forth. Um, we do have four plays for you. Um, before we get into the plays, though, if you've never tried prize picks, use our promo code at the bottom of the screen and they'll match your first deposit up to $100. Uh, they're going to double what you put on. So if you deposit the whole $100, you'll get $200 to play with. And um, just make sure you're putting that code in and then they'll, they'll uh, hook you up with that deal. Um, if you are new to our channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to be able to jump on these plays before they get removed or bumped, which happens, it's just a matter of time. Whenever we post these videos, it's really just how much do you want to risk it, you know? Um, but uh, yeah, if you have your notifications on, you can jump on, see what we're getting into and decide pretty quickly whether you want to take these or not. Um, and uh, if you guys don't mind, just do us a favor and like the video. Uh, we say it every video, it's the best way to support the channel and it does a lot for us. Um, so we really appreciate you guys. You're really helping us grow this thing fast. So um, thanks a lot for uh, helping us uh, just, you know, we've completely eclipsed 10,000 subs now and we're just uh, almost to uh, uh, 10,200 already. And it's only been a couple of days. So we really appreciate everything you guys do to help us grow the channel. Um, all right. so. Uh, here are the plays that we're going to be talking about. I'm going to be taking two centers for rebounds and assists, and they're actually set at the same line. So a little bit different tonight, but um, yeah, I'll be taking Isaiah Hartenstein over 13 and a half rebounds and assists and uh, Yusuf Nurkic over 13 and a half rebounds and assists. What are you getting into, Jordy? Yeah, I'm going to be taking uh, Paulo Benchero for over four and a half assists and uh, taking Jalen Suggs for over nine and a half points as well. All right, sounds good. Uh, before we get into our recap and our breakdown um, of these plays, if you've never uh, checked out Chalkboard, you should give it a shot. Um, it's one of our, par our official partners and um, it's just another uh, prop platform. Um, they have uh, bets as low as a dollar. And uh, my favorite part about it is you can adjust the lines to alternate lines. Um, so you have to hit every like uh, pick on your entry to cash it but it's because uh, you know you can lower any of these lines that you're looking at for the most part. There's some that are just such good value, they don't let you adjust them. But for the most part, if you're feeling like more confident about a play, you can boost it up a little bit and you'll get a higher payout. Uh, if you you know think that a play uh, you know is just a little too high, you can lower it and they'll just let you play it, but you just have a lower, uh, lower multiplier on your payout. So um, yeah, if you wanna check that out, they'll match your first deposit up to $100 as well. If you just use code backdoor, and there's a link in the description of the video if you want to check that out. And uh, last thing before we uh, keep moving is uh, definitely check out Daily Grind, um, another one of our partners. They've been with us for a long time now. And uh, you'll see we're about to use the uh, DFS Optimizer here. Um, it's one of their tools. They make uh, daily fantasy sports tools. And um, we use uh, the DFS Optimizer to like find plays when we're looking for what we want to get into. Just helps you get an idea of where the best value is on the board. And especially if you're in a situation where you don't have a lot of time, but you have like 15 minutes to make a slip before the game start, you can head over to the DFS Optimizer and it puts all the best value right there for you. Um, but yeah, they have a lot of different types of tools, but if you want to check that out, they're giving all of our viewers 25% off if you just use code backdoor. And there's a link in the description of the video um, as well for that. So, all right, let's get into, uh, actually, yeah, we have a recap to go over. Let's get, get to this recap. Um, okay, I'm just gonna, we're like in a little, not in a hurry, but we're gonna try to get through this a little bit quicker because I don't want these lines to move on us. So I'm just gonna go through my four real quick. Okay. Um, so, okay, so yeah, for the night video, um, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the wrong one. Um, yeah, um, I had taken uh, Pajimski and Kawhi in the night video. That's correct, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. All right. So for the night video, I was going to give uh, Kawhi Leonard another shot. And I think it's me, you guys. Like, because he's like killing it on boards. And then as soon as I take it, um, he, he he does this. Uh, we took him for over six and a half. And he's been going, 
He's been having these little spike games, but he's hitting more often than not. Anyways, he went for two rebounds. Kawhi Leonard went for two rebounds in the whole game. Um, so we needed him to go for uh, five more at least, and he didn't. So that was a fail. Um, Brandon Pajimski, we took him for uh, over 11 and a half rebounds and assists, and uh, he went for 14. So not too bad there. Um, Okonkwo took him for uh, 30 fantasy score higher, and um, he only made it to 25. And honestly, I want to talk about this one for just a second because he didn't play bad, in my opinion. He actually, like, he had all the opportunities. This game was crazy. Um, it ended up being uh, Clippers won 149 to 144 in regulation. There was no, there was no overtime. That's crazy. They both, uh, they both had like, uh, yeah, it was like 47 to 43 is what the fourth quarter scoring was. It was pretty wild, but um, I just want to pull his lineup real fast because, yeah, he got, he played 34 minutes. Um, he went for 18 points and five rebounds, but he was, he was eight of 10 from the field and two of two from three pointers uh, for, for three points. And, and um, he, uh, he got a block. Like he had two turnovers, so we lost two points there, but he was not having a bad game. Um, I don't know why they just, he wasn't a part of the, the game script because he was on the floor, but you have a guy uh, who's eight of 10 and who has gone, you know, two for two from three pointer. I'm like, dude, why wouldn't you keep him involved? But um, anyways, so we missed on that one. Sorry, I'm like ranting about it, but I was, I was disappointed because all the indicators were there and he hit all the indicators, but um, Darius Garland was a different story. Uh, I think that it was just premature. I was hoping that we were going to catch it early. And, um, I think he's still getting things worked out. And we had this unexpected, like, uh, questionable tag before game time. So he had something else that was sort of re-aggravated after we took the play. And, uh, he was a game time decision, but he ended up playing. But, um, yeah, he wasn't on the uh, injury report when we were taking him. So that was unfortunate. So I went like one and three today. So not a great day for me, but I'm ready to bounce back. How'd you do, Jordy? Uh, yeah, so I took uh, Mason Plumley for under nine and a half points in the night show. He went for eight. So got a little closer than I liked, but he stayed under. And then uh, Austin Reeves was definitely the biggest letdown of the one for me. I took him for over 15 and a half points and... Um, He's played like butt, you know, he came in, got a bunch of turnovers and played really sloppy and they sat him early and, you know, there was other guys who were playing a lot better for them. So they just didn't really use Reeves tonight with how bad he was playing. Um, he shot three for eight from the floor and zero for five from three pointer. So obviously those are little Jordy numbers. So he's not going to get that, get that time he needs. So um, he missed on that one. He only went for nine. Uh, so we went one and one on the day show and then, uh, or for the night show. And then for the day show, we took Evan Mobley. This line was just way too low for Mobley. Um, they're going to start getting him more involved. He played more minutes tonight. He got almost 30. Uh, we took him for over 26 and a half fantasy score. He went for 36.9. So we cashed on that one. And then, uh, another light down was, uh, my other man, Kevin Herter, uh, red velvet. He, <laughs> He let us down too. Uh, we took him for over 11 and a half points and he had 10. He got real close. He, he had a decent little game. He shot four for nine from the floor and two for uh, two for five from three. So, you know, he was close. He just uh, one more bucket. You know, if he went five for nine, we'd be saying we got the sweep on this end. But, uh, you know, that's the risk you run with these guys who are just pure shooters. You know, it's like if they're not feeling it from three. It's like their whole game falls apart sometimes. So. It just happens. We'll get back on track. Um, you know, we're stoked to... That was a tough board anyway. We were saying last night, I remember I was like, you know, feeling good about the plays, but I was like, this is kind of a nasty board. Like, the matchups were really hard all around the board, and it was just like kind of an ugly looking board last night. So, not to make excuses, because I know some people did cash, and a lot of people had success tonight. I wish we were one, but we weren't tonight, so we'll get them tomorrow. Yeah, I feel the same way, man. Um, I was... I was, uh, I mean, uh, Mobley played great. Mobley looked really good. Um, Darius Garland was my disappointment. Uh, if I, you know, if he would have had that questionable tag, I don't think I would have, I would have obviously strayed away from him. He's coming yeah. off of an injury and then he has a late game. I would not have taken that. Um, you know, right before the game, he gets the game time decision tag. But yeah, let's, let's get into this next slate because uh, we're going to bounce back and you have nights like this, you know, it, it happens sometimes. Um, 
But Kawhi looked great. Kawhi played great. He just didn't get me the rebounds that I needed. Uh, he played. He got like 36 points though. Um, but all right. So uh, to get us started here, I'm going to be uh, taking Isaiah Hartenstein over 13 and a half rebounds and assists. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you the prize picks. Last five. Yeah, he's gone three out of his last five. Um, but uh, I don't know. I hardly ever open that up anymore because we've got outlier this is uh, so much better to look at. Um, all right. So to, to take a look at the uh, over under, we have a 214 and a half over under with the Knicks favored by 13 and a half. So we do have blowout potential for this game. Um, so you want to keep that in mind. But I think that Isaiah Hartenstein will be part of the, you know, the blowout. Um, it's not like, you know, this this is where I get into that zone where I have to, you know, it should be on your radar a little bit. This game has the potential to get out of control. But I again, I think part of that when we're talking rebounds and assists, I think uh, this is like a good matchup for him. So um, I'm feeling good about him hitting this, even if they if the game does get out of control a little bit. Um, if we uh, take a look at um, on outlier here, um, he's hit this uh, seven out of his last 10 games. Um, you know, I, I don't really think there's like a whole lot to say about Hartenstein. You guys who are regulars of the channel know that we, we play him a lot. We like we like going to Hartenstein when it's a, a good a good matchup here. And um, this matchup is not is not bad. Um, you know, for the assists, middle of the road, I know it's in red, it's ninth, but ninth is not like top three or anything like that, you know, like, and he, uh, he's capable of, uh, going off on some assists, you know, like, um, two games ago, uh, against Indiana, he had six assists, but really the majority of the work is going to be in the rebounding. And, uh, we're looking at 29th and rebounds allowed. Uh, so great matchup for rebounds against Memphis. Um, last three games, he's, you know, kind of averaging out like in the low thirties for minutes. Um, he had a couple of these low minutes games, but even over a 10 game stretch, it's still, even with those low games, he's still averaging 30 minutes a game, 2.9 fouls, nothing to, nothing to be concerned about as far as him getting into foul trouble, but he has before, but it's not like a regular thing for him. So, um, I'm feeling good about all the indicators here. Um, I, I really love this matchup for rebounds because that's the best thing about, um, you know, that's, that's what the main thing we take him for. Um, looks like uh, Jaron Jackson uh, Jr. is a game time decision. Um, so if he misses, I like this play even more. Um, but yeah, they're, they've been in rough shape for a while now. Um, uh, the Grizzlies, you know, it's just, it wasn't their year to really do anything significant. Unfortunately, it was looking exciting uh, for a minute there when Ja came back and it was like, oh, well, maybe they could turn this thing around, but it all kind of fell apart. But um, so yeah, anyways, I, I'm feeling good about this. And that's one thing I love about outliers. You can just quickly on the fly, see anything that's going on with the injury report and get some like uh, clickable explanations. Um, and uh, if you guys are interested in checking out outlier, we've partnered up with them and there's a uh, seven day free trial. Um, if you want to just click the link in the description of the video, you can go try this out for seven days. It's a great app. See how you like it. Um, if we hop over to daily grind though, um, and we, uh, take a look what they're thinking. They, this is the, the best play they have listed for Isaiah Hartenstein. They have it at a 53.37% odds to hit the over and they have it at a minus 137. So pretty juiced. Um, Bet MGM has this all the way at a minus 155. That's, that's one of the highest I've seen. So everyone is thinking this is going to be good. Um, that have it listed at, you know, 13 and a half. Uh, Cause yeah, he could do this reasonably. He could do this on rebounds alone. Um, so the assists in there are just the extra cushion. Um, but yeah, so that's my first play. And then I'm just going to hop right over to uh, Nurkic here for my next play. But let's take a look at this over under in this Bucks Suns game. 244 and a half over under Suns favored by three and a half. That's what you like to see. You know, the Suns getting a little bit of respect here. Um, Nurk is actually coming off of a great game too, but that's a high over under 244 and a half. So should be an exciting game. I really do hope Grayson Allen gets uh, a little bit of revenge on his old team. Uh, he hasn't been doing much because the rest of the scorers have been like kind of hogging everything, you know, but um, if we look at this matchup, it's, it's great. Um, the uh, Bucks are 21st in rebounds allowed, 28th in assists allowed, and Nurkic is good at assists. I mean, his last game, he had eight assists. Uh, it's not uncommon for him to go for eight assists. In his last 10, he's gone over this, um, you know, just, just five out of the last 10 games, but he's kind of spotty a little bit, and I think he's going to be getting back into rhythm here. 
Um, and some of that's been like weird rotational stuff. Um, but if we uh, take a look at his minutes, yeah, see, he, when he gets this done, he, he rarely gets like a ton of minutes to get it done because the rotations have been a little bit, it's like they're still figuring out how to, how to you know, like different looks for the Suns is what I feel like Vogel's doing. Um, but sometimes he'll take Nurk out and he'll just leave him out for a while. But he's still capable of doing this, um, even if he only gets like that, that last game, he went for 21 rebounds and assists in 24, just under 25 minutes. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling good about this, especially with this matchup. And I think that it being close, I, I just don't think that they're going to get to a point where they're just running small ball for an, like an extended period of time. We might see a little uh, little time where uh, KD um, you know, is playing the five, but I think Nurk will get his minutes and he'll get this done. Uh, so I'm feeling really good about this. I think it's just a little too low, all things considered. Um, and uh, if we hop back over to Daily Grind, they also have this as the top play for Nurkic. 53.65% uh, odds to hit at a minus 136. Um, and then we've still got some juice here, minus 130 and higher uh, for everybody. It's not a minus 155 on BetMGM like a, like a Hartenstein is, but a minus 130 is still you know pretty juiced. So I'm feeling good about all the indicators on these two. I usually don't like to go like two plays in the same category when it's something like rebounds and assists, but I just liked both of these too much. I didn't want to not take them. So those are the two I'm rolling with. You want to get into yours, Jordy? Yeah, man. So to get me started on mine here, um, the camera's not focusing. So I've got uh, this Paulo Bancaro for over four and a half assists line. I feel great about um, Bancaro going over this. Um, if we look at what he's done over the last 10 games, he's gone over this eight out of 10 games and he's been crushing it. I mean, six, 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 seven, 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 six, seven. So he's, you know, going well over this line. And we just so happen to have a great matchup against Miami. They're ranked 21 in assists allowed to small forwards. <coughs> Excuse me, giving up 4.4 a game. So I think Paulo's going to get more than that. If you look at the head to head, he's gone over this three out of the six times they've played each other. Um, you know, they played each other twice this year so far. And uh, he went over it once and missed it once in the same month. So, you know, it's a it's a great matchup, I think, with the, you know, the history behind him and what he's been doing. I mean, over his last five, he's gone over it every single time by at least two assists. So I think it's a great matchup and I think he's going to have. A pretty easy time getting this done for us um he's done it in five straight games on the road too so you know he's having more success on the road doing this so i feel good about it um injuries nothing serious um tyler hero game time duncan robinson game time so nothing that's going to affect paulo so noting it here paulo is not on the injury report so if he dnps tomorrow that just shows you how bad our luck is sometimes but um if you look at daily grind we got a 52.12 percent chance to go over i love this play so i'm rolling the dice on this one for sure and then i'm taking a guy on the same team as him and this kind of correlates with this play a little bit hopefully hopefully he can throw uh jalen sugg some dime so he can hit some shots for us but i'm taking jalen suggs to go over nine and a half points um i think this is a low line for him too um, oops, I had Terry Rozier pulled up. Here it is. Um, so over the last uh, 10 games, he's gone over the 6 out of 10 times over the last 5, 3 out of 5. And, uh, you know, the, the matchup is middle of the road. They're ranked 18th, giving up 28.4 points. So plenty of room for him to get this done. His minutes are kind of going back up, too. He had, like, a cold spree, so they weren't playing him as much. They are getting him, like, 25 minutes a game. Now he's up to 30.9, so... Liking the way this is looking, um, 9.5 is a great line. 10.5, you might want to rethink it maybe. Um, I just think he'll definitely get 10. But um, I can see him going for 12. I can see him hitting a bunch of threes. So if you, you know, this is going to get bumped. So I would take it. 10.5 is probably the highest I'd go on it for taking the over. Just putting that out there now because I think this one will get bumped. So hopefully you guys can catch it at 9.5 or 10.5. So I feel good about it at either one of those lines. But, um, yeah, this is, I just think this is an easy one. Um, great matchup. Injury report, like I said, nothing serious in this game. Um, if you look at this one on Daily Grind, it's a 54.51% chance, minus 141. So this one's getting bumped. I'll take it at 10.5 all day. I'll probably take it more tomorrow because I know it's going to get bumped and I want to play this play even more. So I'm definitely playing this guy. Um, I feel great about the matchup. So that's my two, man. Uh, short and easy on this one. All right. Um, 
What, so, dude? <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, um, cool. So these are the four that we're rolling with for um, for first look. We'll have more tomorrow once the board fills out in the daily show. Um, sorry, I got a little bit distracted there for a second. Uh, I was looking at this injury report and um, for the, the Nurkic play, um, we have Giannis, Dame, Brooke Lopez, and Chris Middleton, all game time decisions. So I guess, you know, just something to consider. I don't know how that makes me feel. It doesn't make me like scared of the play at all. I'm really just like, I, I, I'm just as confident as I was before. I'm just like kind of brainstorming a little bit on like, does this make me even more confident now? Um, but I'm definitely going to be locking this in either way. But I just want to let you guys know because I didn't, I don't think I mentioned that earlier because I was just looking at it. But anyways, guys, yeah, that's the four we got for you tonight. If you want to check out our Discord, there's a link in the description of the video. It's about 50 cents a day. Really great community. It's a really good resource for last minute. Like you'll, you, if you just like go in there, you'll see how active it is like right before the games are starting, like about an hour to an hour and a half before everybody's last minute, just like throwing out plays. It's a lot of fun, um, but really good people in there, like, you know, welcoming environment. There's, we, we all keep the vibes good in there, which I'm thankful for. Um, but yeah, if you want to check it out, link in the description of the video, just go, uh, if you decide to try it, just go into Discord and then make sure uh, you go to server subscriptions and subscribe and then it'll unlock all of our channels for you we cover all sorts of different types of sports like uh, they've been really getting into esports which i haven't dove into jordan has has uh, messed around with that mu uh, more than i have um, but it's it's fascinating to me i want to learn more about it and then dive into it and um, it, i i enjoy it's entertaining to me just seeing all these plays these guys are getting into in there um, so we hope you guys have a great night. Thanks again for watching the channel, for all the support, for the likes and the, you know, you guys have been awesome and we really appreciate it. So shout out to all you guys. We hope you have a good night and we'll catch you tomorrow on the daily show. Good luck guys.